Hey everyone! In this video, we want to recall the wonderful movie Back to the Future, which you probably watched unless you're still a teenager right now. In that case, you might not be familiar with this classic popular film. Let's see what the cast of Back to the Future looked like then and now. Let us know in the comments below if you've seen this movie and who you remember from the movie the most. Please enjoy! I was standing on the edge of my toilet hanging a clock. The porcelain was wet. I slipped, hit my head on the edge of the sink. And when I came to, I had a revelation, a vision, a picture in my head. Christopher Lloyd is a remarkable actor, winner of several Emmy Awards, and has appeared in over 200 films during his long career. However, his most stellar and most vibrant role was that of Emmett Brown in Back to the Future, and it is considered by most to be one of his most memorable roles. Many people also remember the actor from the movie One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, where he played one of the inhabitants of the mental hospital. At the time of filming the first part of Zemecki's movie, the actor was 46 years old. Now, today, he is 84 years old, and he still stars in movies, for example, in a prominent role in the 2021 movie titled Nobody. Hello? Anybody home? Hey, think with fly. Think. I gotta have time to recopy it. You realize what would happen if I hand in my homework and your handwriting? Thomas Wilson is an amazing actor who has been able to showcase his talents in many fields of art. He began his career with the NBC Studios series Knight Rider, but he became famous for his role in the Back to the Future trilogy, where he played the big brash guy Biff Tannen. At that time, the actor was 24 years old. Now the actor is 64, and he's still involved in various movie works, acting in small roles, and voicing cartoon characters. Back when he still had hair, 19-year-old Billy Zane began his acting career in the movie Back to the Future, in which he appeared as Match, one of Biff Tannen's bullies. During his later acting career, he would receive several awards and would be remembered by many for his roles in iconic films like Titanic, Sniper, and many others. The actor is now 57 years old and he's still acting in movies, trying out films aimed at the American market, or small roles in major projects. You shouldn't drink. Why not? Because you, you might regret it later in life. Michael J. Fox first appeared in the Hollywood film titled Letters from Frank. He would go on to win multiple awards from the Screen Actors Guild, as well as Golden Globe and Emmy Awards. Amongst all of this, he would become world famous for his role as Marty McFly in Back to the Future. Michael J. Fox starred in this film at the age of 23, and later on in his life, as many know, tragedy struck the actor. He was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease and devoted his life to fighting it, while occasionally still taking part in filming. He is now 62 years old. George McFly, I'm your density. I mean, your destiny. Crispin Glover is an unusual and intriguing actor. The shooting in the movie Back to the Future was very significant for him. He played the father of the main character, George McFly. He was 21 years old at the time. He won three awards and was nominated several times for the Saturn Award and the Chainsaw Award both. The actor is 59 years old now and is still acting in movies, mostly playing notable roles in mediocre films. And one day I'm gonna be somebody. That's right, he's gonna be mayor. Yeah, I'm a mayor. Actor Donald Fullalove, 26, played the character Goldie Wilson, a waiter and janitor at a diner in the movie Back to the Future. He's known now for doing voiceovers in successful animated films like the film Up, Wall-E, and Kung Fu Panda Secrets of the Masters. Now the actor is 65 years old, and he occasionally appears in films. That's for messing up my hair. What the hell are you doing in my car? Hey, beat it, spook. This don't concern you. He is a very versatile actor. During his career, he even participated in the voiceover of successful game Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. 
He also became famous after starring in the Western Young Guns and as the guy with the 3D glasses in several parts of Back to the Future. At that time, the actor was 24 years old. Now he is 62, and he hasn't been in a movie in over five years. What are you wearing, Dave? Marty. I always wear a suit to the office. Dan McClure is best known for starring in the first movies about Superman. He did also gain popularity with his role as Dave McFly, Marty's brother, in the Back to the Future film at the age of 28. In total, the actor has taken part in more than 100 projects to date so far. Now the actor is 66 years old, and he occasionally appears in movies still. Tab, I can't give you a tab unless you order something. All right, give me a Pepsi free. You want a Pepsi, pal? You're going to pay for it. Norman Olden is an outstanding actor who discovered his talent during his university days. During his acting career, he managed to appear in more than 250 projects, one of which was the shooting of the famous movie Back to the Future, where he played the character Lou. At that time, the actor was 60 years old. The man lived a rather long and fulfilling life, passing away in 2012 at the age of 87. I might understand you're still hanging around with Dr. Emmett Brown McFly. Party slip for you, Miss Parker. Another memorable, albeit episodic, role was played by James Tolkien at the age of 53. His character, Mr. Strickland, is probably remembered by anyone who watched Back to the Future. The actor is now 92 years old and he hasn't starred in a movie since 2015. He did, however, make an exception, only for the miniseries about the creation of the Back to the Future trilogy, which was released in the year 2021. But you're good, Marty. You're really good. And this audition tape of yours is great. You've got to send it into the record company. Actress Claudia Wells made her mark on world cinema by playing Jennifer Parker, the main character's girlfriend in the first Back to the Future movie at the age of 19. She won the Michael Landon Award and was nominated for a Young Actor Award as well. However, the actress's further career didn't really end up working out. She is still acting, however, at the age of 57. That's Calvin Klein. Oh my God, it's a dream. Meanwhile, Leah Thompson's acting career skyrocketed after her role as Lorraine Baines in the movie Back to the Future, where she performed at the age of 24. In total, the actress has participated in more than 200 projects, she has won five awards, and has been nominated for various movie awards six times. The actress is now 62 years old and she is still playing in movies for American audiences. You okay? Jeffrey Weissman is best known for his role as Conway in the Western titled Pale Rider and as George McFly in the second part of Back to the Future. He's been featured in more than 80 television series, films, and shows total. He was 31 during the recording of the Back to the Future film, and he's now 64 years old. He keeps getting acting roles to this day. You mean you have to use your hands? That's like a baby's toy. Mm. This might come as a surprise to some, but Elijah Wood started his career in this trilogy and at a very young age. He was only eight years old when he appeared in the film as a boy playing arcade games. The actor much later became famous for his role in the trilogy for The Lord of the Rings, but his first work was a role in the movie Back to the Future 2. Now the actor is 42 years old and he has stayed busy in his acting career, playing many prominent roles in many successful productions. Hey, kid, I'm a hundred bucks. Will you help save the clock tower? I uh, sorry, no. Come on, kid, that's an important historical landmark. Look, some other time. Charles Fleischer is best known for his roles in A Nightmare on Elm Street and Who Framed Roger Rabbit, released in 1988, where he voiced Roger but he can also be seen in the second part of Back to the Future as Old Man Terry collecting signatures. He is now 72 years old, and his acting career is pretty much non-existent. However, he was involved in the voiceover of part two of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Let me look at you. Marty, you're acting like you haven't seen me in a week. I haven't. Are you okay? Is everything all right? 
A turning point in Elizabeth Shue's career was the role in the movie Leaving Las Vegas, for which she was nominated for an Oscar. She also starred in Back to the Future 2 as Jennifer. She was 25 years old at that time. The actress has received many awards and nominations during her acting career. At the age of 59, she is still working in the film industry today. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you soon.